Meanwhile, the Ukrainian president is calling for a no-fly zone over Ukraine. But tonight, NATO says implementing a no-fly zone would likely escalate the situation and could drag other countries into the war, including the United States. I spoke with Charles Bierbauer about the no-fly zone earlier today. He lived and worked in Russia for many years. Bierbauer believes a no-fly zone is off the table tonight. It's not going to happen for several reasons. This, the no-fly zone exists on several levels. There's the emotional one. That's what President Zelensky is saying. Look, we are dying here. You've got the capacity, you, NATO, the U.S., to invoke a no-fly zone. Easy to say, yes, we really should do that to save lives. But then there's the logistical side of it. And this is a massive thing. The US has, and NATO and the West have done no-fly zones in Libya, uh, in Iraq, uh, in Bosnia or over all three of those. But the logistics are such that not only do you need to keep fighter planes up there around the clock virtually, you need to have what's called an AWACS plane. That's the coordinating plane, the big thing that sits up at 30, 40,000 feet and tells you what's going on. You need to have refueling capacity. You need to have helicopters to go in and pick up an airman who might've been shot down. That's the logistical side. And then there's the consequential side. The consequential side is if you have an American pilot or any NATO pilot who shoots down a Russian pilot, what do we have? We have conflict between the West and Russia, not just conflict between Ukraine and Russia. And that's what people are saying is, in effect, the start of World War III. Ukrainians would argue fairly, they're already in World War III, but the consequences of a no-fly zone in which you might have, in which you might have Americans and Russians shooting at each other, just opens up the, the broader potential for global warfare. And tonight, the president of Ukraine continues to say not implementing a no-fly zone is effectively giving Russia, Russia, that is, the green light to continue with their assault.